Okay, you can see here, so I got a piece of scrap ply left over from my uh, tabletop projects. I've got a ruler on here to give it scale. And then I've got my pro scope here to, uh, to zoom in on that ply and give you an idea of how thin it really is. Or maybe in your book, maybe how thick it is. But let me uh, jump to that video and show you what I mean here. Hang on. So here's my, this is my bench top. You can see there, there's a, uh, one of the uh, flathead bolts holding it to my, or that's holding the, that piece of extrusion. Now as I move up over the edge of my bench top, you see that dark area there? That's actually the Formica rounded over a little bit and then there's the first piece or the uh, first edge which is the ply the, the ply itself and you can see the thickness of the plies and then we'll get to the outside edge here right there okay so now I'm going to try and slide this over and get the ruler into the picture. There it is. There you have it in 64. One that is that, that has my pro scope zoomed in as far as I can go. That's the thickness of the, the veneer. One sixty-fourth of an inch. So when it comes to fastening hardwood to plywood you want your your mate to be as close as you can get before you start sanding on this stuff because it's going to it's going to disappear quickly if you if you're if you're uh if you're off by let's just say you're off by 3 fourths of that distance um you're not going to have hardly anything left there at all a piece of paper and you don't want to get that thin. So, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.